Hello again, electric car lovers. Today we have the Hot Wheels first casting of the Lucid Air. I really don't know much about these guys other than the fact that they're ex-Tesla employees and they're based out of Arizona, the Phoenix area. Okay, let's open this guy up and uh, see the scale. So you'll see here the wheelbase says 2960. So I'm going to measure this wheelbase here. One sixty six scale. Okay, so we know that now. Obviously, you can fast forward a little bit, but I thought I'd share learning this about this car because it has insane stats. So, here's the Lucid website, and the main gist here. You can go 520 miles on a charge. The best option has 1,200 horsepower. <laughs> that's that's crazy. And then you can actually charge 300 miles worth in only 22 minutes. And then zero to 60 is less than two seconds. I don't understand what these tires are made of. These new tires, I, like that's insane, right? Very low drag, of course, to help get that uh, mileage and speed. Uh, let's see what else is here. It's bi-directional charging, so you could use it as a power bank, I guess. Maybe you want to read your Kindle for the rest of your life inside this vehicle and recharge it. Uh, yeah, so that's it, I guess. And here the 170 grand up to a quarter mil. Uh, 250 sounds like a lot, but compared to say a Ferrari, you know, a, Fer uh, a quarter mil Ferrari doesn't have 1200 horsepower, and uh, it doesn't have four seats or seating for five, uh, so and go over speed bumps, right? So, yeah, this is far more practical and far quicker. So, yeah, very cool. All right, anyways. Let's see now about Mattel and their ability to represent this vehicle. I think the front end does look good. Yeah, it looks very Audi e-tron, this car, actually. Yeah. So, I don't know who designed the car, which which car first. E-tron or this thing. Uh, yeah, I guess this looks pretty good, too. The roof line and all that. The, the one distracting thing is this giant panel gap here, you know? that's. Obviously, it has to be because it's a Hot Wheels. They have to pull millions out of their molds, but it is a bit distracting. I almost think maybe it would have been better if they left it out. But it is there, right? It becomes, I guess, this this trunk area or whatever. So, different wheel options here. And I think Hot Wheels did a good job here representing kind of, you know, the look of these these wheels, sort of more than the other ones. Alright, well, let's see what else we have. It's a nice uh, metallic silver, of course. The door handles are flush like the real car. We have some casted in mirrors, so that's nice. Better than no mirrors, I think. Uh, yeah, those wheels do look pretty cool. I just hate these things. Um, yeah, the, ba the base is black plastic and it becomes a bit of the side sill there. Nice sculpturing there. Yeah, the door cuts don't bother me. It's just this one. That one does bother me, that cut. And it looks like there's some printing here on the side. What is this? Uh, I don't know what that is. It looks like an A. I don't see any of that printing on the photograph. So please leave a comment, someone. What's the deal with that? Why does it have an A there? Maybe the prototypes had that there? You'll see they printed a... Maybe this is molding or something? It's interesting that Hot Wheels would go through the effort of printing that black line there. Okay, the front looks good because we have the Lucid printed and then we have all the headlights printed. So that's nice, this grill area. Yeah, there's the base again. Alright, so the top, we have some nice sculpturing there that looks nice. I wonder if on the real car the rents here or not, or it's just styling. I think it might just be styling. This side, and you may 
major problems. I don't see any. So the back again is nice because it's printed. You know, I really like how they print stuff there at Mattel on the mainline even instead of like more expensive brands. You know, skimping out on headlight details and taillight details. Auto World, your stark white headlights bother me. I'm guessing these are bumps to maybe cover up the hinges for something, the glass. Uh, I don't know. It's not. I don't really see them on the real rear photograph. Maybe this casting was made off of like a pre-production uh, source material instead of the real car. So nice canopy, right? It's clear enough that you can actually see, and it's a good color choice. It's a white interior, I'm guessing, or or a really light gray. I have an assumption it's a white plastic, but this smoked window is what's making it, making it look gray. So good details there for Hot Wheels. Yeah, nothing nothing wrong there. Hmm. All right. So I think uh, everything looks pretty good except for that panel gap. I'm not sure which wheels I'm going to go with, but you'll see in a second. And we're back with some uh, OEM wheels here, of course. I did leave out, there's supposed to be a tiny line that connects right here, but I left it out because it would just be tortured to paint. And you can see the step lines here that my 3D printer has. This is actually concave a little bit. It's not a flat surface. It's actually concave more on the real wheel, but I like to grab the axle that I reuse here. so. I didn't dish it too much. This is a really difficult wheel to paint. <laughs> I mean, it, it took a long time. A uh, good, maybe it took an hour to, for me to paint these things because I screwed up it a bunch of times and had to add silver back. Uh, the tires are a separate piece, so at least that's that's a little easier to deal with. But uh, yeah, all right. So this one I did manage to get it to roll. It's quite interesting that this car is so expensive, yet this wheel is identical on this side of the car as it is on this side. So on this side it's like cutting into the wind, and on the other side it's being swept back. You would think for a car this expensive they would have the left and right wheel. But I guess they expect you to rotate the tires like normal cars, so maybe not. Alright, so that's all I did. I didn't add anything else because Hot Wheels did it all for me, which I think is fantastic. The more we models we can get with all this printing, the better off the world will be. Because <laughs> cause there's no way you can paint that, right? And then a the decal will just fall off eventually, unless you clear coat the whole thing. But if you're going to clear coat it, then you got to drill it apart and remove the windows before that. So, yeah, this is, this is good the way it is. So I'm very happy with the result of this one. I think these things are actually being delivered now. Uh, correct me if I'm wrong. <laughs> so, a few more Hot Wheels. Uh, I did this one a while back, this GM Autonomy concept. Uh, it's such a weird car, and yet I, feel, I somehow see a similarity. Maybe it's the thin headlights or something. Maybe it's just because they're silver. Um, another electric car we have here is uh, this Nissan, what is it, Leaf Nismo. And then this one has uh, actual brakes as well, but they spin with the wheels. So, yeah. I don't know if I'm going to sell this one. It's, I like the wheels on this. Unfortunately, I can't really keep all my models. Uh, most of my Hot Wheels just go in, into darkness. I don't have room to display these things. Uh, so this is the Jamera, which is a, a hybrid. There's some electricity and a motor as well. And then... Uh, I think this is one of my favorite cars of the last few years because it's actually a practical hyper car. You know, it can bring four, three people along for the ride. And then Hot Wheels did a great job on that as well, painting all the lights and stuff. Okay. <laughs> Almost picked the Jamera because I like that one more. So, another great uh, mainline Hot Wheels has been released. Whether or not you actually like this car in real life is is up to you. I think it's a pretty attractive looking car. It's a very neutral looking car though. It doesn't offend me. Uh, nor does it say I want to scream that, you know, pay attention to me. It's just a conservative looking vehicle. But it still looks classy as well. With almost no panel gaps. You know, those panel lines are so tight for aerodynamics. 
What do you guys think about the Lucid Air? Is it worth the money? It's got the power to back it up. But we'll have to see what happens with all these batteries in the future. Yeah, how long do they last? You know? I don't know. Anyways, but if the guys that designed Tesla did this, I'm going to assume these are going to be just as good as Tesla's, although I do hear some bad things about Tesla's. Alright guys, thanks for watching. I'll see you hopefully in the next electric car review. Bye now.